Hello, this is Going Rogue with JJ Waters from Honky Tonk Heroes. I'm here to answer five questions sent to me by my friends at Rogue Country. Uh, first off, they would like to know, how did Honky Tonk Heroes first come about? Uh, well, uh, interesting story. Um, not really. Uh, Andy Nichols and I, who uh, co-founded the group, we were uh, drunk one night in a bar, and... Uh, uh, there with a few musicians, and we were all talking about uh, stealing a motorcycle that was parked out front, but how we actually didn't want the motorcycle. We just wanted to start our own gang and have uh, just a you know our own little club. And you know, as drunken things go, you come up with these wild ideas, and they never go anywhere. But this one, the next day, Andy actually uh, remembered enough of it to start the uh, Facebook group and then uh, yeah we we decided we were going to focus on uh, local live music and small music venues and uh, just the type of local taverns and, and places we like to hang out in uh, and, and support the music and musicians that we loved and uh, were lucky enough to be surrounded by uh, and, and it's, you know, it, it started very local and, uh, now we promote artists from all over the world and, uh, it's just a, uh, devotion to good quality music. Uh, what has been the best live show you've attended? Well, uh, large scale, this may surprise people, but the, the my best show I've ever been to, uh, was Earth, Wind, and Fire with Chicago, and uh, to me, man, a, a, a horn section in a large, at a large show is, is where it's at. Um, now, that being said, I have seen numerous, numerous, numerous small shows, uh, hanging out in people's living rooms, uh, very small bars. These, these are the, the types of shows that I tend to go to more and enjoy more. But yeah, that Earth, Wind, and Fire show was pretty unbelievable. Um, how important do you think it is for musicians to speak about political issues? Now, this is pretty hot button. Uh, you know, I think it, it's up to the individual how much you uh, want to put your politics out there. Uh, I don't believe in the shut up and sing mentality that a lot of people have where uh, you shouldn't ever mention your politics. And... Uh, but I also believe that you can just make it too much about politics. So I, I think the, the, it's important to strike a balance between speaking your mind when uh, there's something that's genuinely on your conscience. Um, but you also need to pair that back and, and be prepared to deal with uh, people's uh, reaction to those comments. And if you're not prepared for the blowback, you probably should keep your mouth shut. But if uh, there is something that's weighing on your conscience, you absolutely should not be quiet about it. Uh, especially now, I mean, it's very important to uh, have your voice heard and get out and vote. Uh, number four, how did you get into art and how does it cross over to your love of music? Um, you know, growing up, I always drew, doodled, did little art projects. Um, but as I became an adult, I started bartending at uh, age 18, and uh, the places I worked started booking music, and they needed a way to advertise it, and so I just sort of meshed those two together, and I, you know, like everybody, I'd always wanted to be a musician, but I have zero musical talent, so this was just a really fun way for me to be involved in local music and promoting that stuff without having to learn a guitar because they absolutely cannot. So, uh, yeah, it's great to be able to uh, combine those two and, and be around people I love and respect. Um, and the last question. Who do you think would win in a bar fight between Rocky and Rambo? Well, you know, does Rambo get to carry a gun, knife? You know, it doesn't matter. Even if not, Rocky is trained to fight in a ring. Rambo is trained to fight whatever it is around him at the time. He would absolutely slaughter Rocky. It's not even a question. Uh, 
thanks to uh, Road Country for sending me these questions. And uh, I hope you all uh, support live music. Go pick up the new Arlo McKinley album and the new Justin Wells album coming out in a week or so. Yeah. And uh, check us out on Honky Tonk Heroes on Facebook, both the page and the group. And uh, you can follow us on Instagram at Honky Tonk Heroes WV. Appreciate you. Thanks.